If you need a generator, it's important to hire the right generator for the job, and this starts with answering a few questions. What are you going to be using the generator for? Will you need to power sensitive electrical equipment, such as a PC or laptop, music equipment, or lighting for a party, etc.? How much power does all the equipment need to do the job? Will you be able to pick the generator up, or will it need to be delivered? Let's try and make it easier. You'll need to check on the equipment you wish to power at the same time. You'll need an inverter generator if you're going to power sensitive equipment. You'll need to determine the total running watts versus the starting watts needed. Let's show the difference between running watts and starting watts. Running watts are the continuous watts needed to keep tools and appliances operating or running. Starting watts are the extra watts that will be needed for two to three seconds to start motor-driven products. There are different types of electrical motors. Induction electric motors are usually used in fridges, air conditioners, water pumps, etc. Induction electric motors require more power to start than during normal operation, sometimes up to six times more power. Armature electric motors are usually used in equipment such as hair dryers, vacuum cleaners and most power tools. Armature electric motors don't require any additional or special starting power requirements. So, you're going to need to work out not only the equipment you intend to operate, but what equipment will require additional startup power and what doesn't. You will then need to select a generator that can provide sufficient power to allow various items to start up whilst others are running. What if you can't determine the running or the starting watt requirement for a tool or appliance? If the running watts are not stated or shown on the tool or appliance, you may need to estimate using the following equation. Other things to consider when using a generator. Common sense goes a long way when using any type of generator, so keep in mind these do's and don'ts. For proper operation, make sure the generator is placed in an open, well-ventilated space. In other words, never operate the generator in any type of enclosure to avoid any risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. All generator engines need a good flow of cooling air, so remember not to operate the generator within one metre of any wall. To minimise the risk of electric shock, keep the generator dry and on a firm, level surface while running. Never refuel a generator whilst it is running. Spilled fuel may ignite, so wipe up any spills. Be sure not to use the maximum output capacity of the generator for more than 30 minutes at a time. Continuous operation should not exceed the rated load. Do not repeatedly overload a generator. If you're using the generator to power party equipment, ensure everything is going to start and operate several hours or more before the party starts. That way, if you need a bigger generator, you'll have time to arrange one. At Bills Mahaya, we want to ensure you get the right generator for the job, and we understand that it's not just a matter of picking the smallest or biggest. If you're not sure, then explain to us what you intend to use the generator for, and we'll be able to assist you in choosing and hiring the right unit.